to be doing a, I was gonna say a different type of video, I always say that when I do something that's not a haul unboxing, but I guess it's pretty much in the same realm because today I'm going to be reorganizing my shelves up here. I will be honest with you guys, the lights aren't usually on when I'm going about like my day-to-day -day life or whatever. I really just am too lazy to turn them on even though it's just a switch, like I never think to turn them on. So yeah, that looks really cute right now, but I thought this video is long overdue because I have been wanting to reorganize my shelves for a hot minute and right now I feel like I could just be maximizing the space a lot better. My setup is pretty much standard. Also, I've never really shown it on my channel. I don't know, like I just really have never had a video where I needed to show it. Um, and so like, even when I was filming my other videos, I always filmed them over there because I didn't even have this setup yet. But anyways, today I want to maximize the space better. Um, it kind of just looks like a store display right now. In an ideal world, I would be able to display the Summer Magic album with all the standees, which is what I used to do before I ran out of space with the albums. But first, I'm going to be unboxing the CD player that Astronaut sent me, and I'm going to go ahead and incorporate this into my display somehow. We'll just give it that extra oomph, I'm thinking. So, on to the unboxing. Okay, so like like I said, this is a package from Astronord, or not a package, but their CD player, and they were kind enough to send it to me so I could review in a video, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I will go ahead and leave the link in the description for where you can get this, so make sure you check them out. Also, let's just address the elephant in the room. My hands look gross right now. This isn't because of like anything, this is just me swatching lipsticks, but like the rest is self-explanatory, we're not gonna get into that sorry you have to see them but anyways so basically this is that CD player that all of those k-pop aesthetic Instagrams youtubers whatever have in their rooms so I'm really excited to have this I won't lie to you guys I don't really touch my CDs but hopefully by getting this I will be more motivated to play them also the box art is really freaking cute. 10 out of 10 for the design. So, um, once you open this, you open it right here. If I can open it, okay. So, oh my god, like even the inside of the box is really freaking pretty. So here is the CD, these are the instructions, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty self-explanatory. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. And then here's the CD player itself. And then, ooh, I didn't know it came with a remote. Okay, all of this stuff is really complicated. There's screws in here. And this looks literally like a straightener, but I guess I'll find out what this is later. Okay, so here is the CD player. Let's get this out first. Okay, so those are the nails. I honestly, I will lie to you, the chances of me putting in this, like drilling into my wall is slim because this drilling into my wall stresses me out. So I think I might use command hooks instead. Um, I don't know if they'll be strong enough to hold. This is pretty light. Oh my God, they even have this thing that is so cute. Okay, so this is a mess. Here is the adapter. Let's see. Okay, you plug it into here. It's like one of those Apple chargers, you know? This is such a chaotic unboxing. Oh my god. There we go. We are going to go ahead and plug her in. If I can get that out. Thankfully, I have a plug over here on my lighting system, which is literally a lamp. <laughs> so I plugged it in. I don't know what that is. Let me see if it says in the instructions what it is. Wall mounted CD player. So it comes with the CD player, the adapter, the remote, the wall mount, the wall mount plate, which I'm assuming is this. Um, the user manual. Oh, this is a stand. Okay, maybe I, I don't know. I don't have any room for this on my table, so maybe I won't stand it. How does this go? How do you? But just be stupid or whatever. There's a remote. I'll probably have to put in my own um, batteries. Yeah, so. So there is an aux cord too that you can plug in so that you can plug in your phone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit because this is not a cute look. But we are going to select Red Velvet's best album, Perfect Velvet, and we are going to play her. And I should probably be getting batteries first. 
so that I can use the remote. But oh my god, like literally this CD is iconic and is so cute. You just pop it in there. Oh my god, I have not used this CD in forever. Well, let me go get these batteries. I'm back with AAA batteries on. Is it on? Pull the cord. Oh, okay, I have to pull it. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god! Come on, play my track. Bump this. Bump this. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna get copyrighted. I'm gonna have to like pitch it or something. So if like it sounds weird, I'm sorry. Oh. Repeat start. Oh. oh, okay. Volume up, let's see how loud this goes. That is crazy. Literally, I forgot how a CD player works. Like, literally, I feel like I'm in the future or something. Which makes no sense, but okay. Let's turn this off. I don't want to get copyrighted anymore. Let's see what else I can do in here. Bluetooth mode. Press Bluetooth mode button on the remote to switch to Bluetooth or switch the mode on the device. So, we are going to change the mode with the button that... Oh, the Bluetooth button right here. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay. So she is ready to connect. So we're gonna go in here. I don't even know if you can see my phone. Can you even see my screen? If you can't, I'm sorry. CD player, we're gonna select her. Um, yeah, no, we're not gonna sync my contacts. You don't need my contacts. I was listening to Tiffany Young, but what should we listen to today? I think we should listen to the song of the year. Okay, that's it. I don't wanna get copyrighted. But that is so cool. Now let's figure out how this stand works. Like like, it cannot be this complicated. Like, I'm really, I'm just, oh my god, that makes so much more sense. I'm so stupid. Literally, that is it. Like, oh my god, I'm so dumb. How did I not figure that out? And if you want it to lean back, Kel, and lean back, and lean back. <laughs> there, that is so cool. I'm not gonna test out the aux feature because that's pretty self-explanatory. But I am curious to see how this wall mount- <gasps> You can see all the buttons on here. I did not even notice that there was buttons on here. Literally, astronaut choose the wrong person to unbox this because I am so dumb. I honestly don't know what is going on here. Right here, you probably can't even see it in the camera. But, um, I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. Let's see, let's go through all the tracks. I have like this new appreciation for Kingdom Come. Like, I've always loved Kingdom Come, but ever since they performed at the concert, it has just been hitting different. And so they better come here on La Rouge because if they don't, I'm gonna be so pissed that I don't get to see Kingdom Come live. So I'm technically supposed to stand it up, like with the cord on the bottom. I don't, I was like trying to accommodate the cord, and that's why I put it at the top. But it goes like this because all of the buttons or at the top if you can see them. So, oh, now I can read it. Guys, I'm like literally, I'm so dumb. Oh my God. Okay, now let's like, let's play. Oh my God, that makes so much sense. I think that's it. I'm done fooling around with it. I'm gonna find a way to incorporate this in my display. Okay, so we're back and I want to talk a little bit more about my display. I know you guys can't really see it, but probably have already shown a clip because I filmed a clip. First things first, my shelves were literally like $8 at Ikea, like they were so cheap. Just comes to show that you don't really need a lot of money to display them. Um, the only thing is, is that since it is really cheap, it didn't really come with nails, so I had to buy all of that stuff myself. But the setup like really wasn't even that bad, and if you guys, well I guess I can't necessarily do a tutorial because they're already in my um, 
wall or whatever. I'm not gonna hammer it back in <laughs> just so I can show you guys. All you really need is an anchor to go into your wall and a nail. I'll go ahead and put a link to Amazon down below if you guys are interested. But yeah, I will also link the shelves I suppose, but that means each shelf was $4. I honestly really don't know what direction I want to go in with my shelf. I know that I do want to put some of the albums at the top and just like make it an actual cute display instead of just have my albums in a line like ladies assemble you know so i think that i'm going to change the camera view and then i will go ahead into reorganizing my shelf okay so this is going to be a super weird angle like i don't know how else i'm gonna be able to fit in the frame and show my shelf at the same time but basically right now i'm going to be clearing off my shelves because i want to start with a clean slate and also they could use a little cleaning so i'm gonna go ahead and empty everything off and then i'm going to chlor these bitches. Still don't know what to do with this. Time to take all of this stuff down. And yes, I do display my fake signed Red Velvet album because nobody needs to know that it's fake. So when people come into the room, they're like, oh my god, you have a signed Red Velvet album? Nobody really does that. <laughs> And be like, yes, like they personally spit on this album for me. This is so ugly. Korea Box is a scam, everyone. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and preserve the battery of this and turn off the lights. Um, the most important thing to me right now is my light stick. She is so freaking cute. Look at these stickers. Very well shop, everyone, you know. Give them that free promo. I don't know what's in focus and what's not, but they gave me this really cute Joy Signature sticker to put on my light stick, and it is so cute. How many times am I gonna say cute? My most important priority is my light stick, like I said. Where do I wanna put this? Maybe I'm just talking too much. Also, where can I put this? But that is kind of cute. There's probably a better way to do this. Like, I could put the wire behind it. There we go. Innovator, like literally an engineer. So I need to put the lid somewhere. Or maybe I can just omit this too if I don't have room for it. I'll just put it in my closet or something. In the closet like I am with my parents. <laughs> I swear there's like, a film on here that I never took off. But you guys, this is going to be the most satisfying thing ever. Oh my god, yes! Okay, so my apologies if the lighting and the angle is different from the intro. I was gonna film them all in one go, but I realized that I need to get the new setup in the shot, so. This is what I decided to do with my shelf. I really like it a lot better than my original one. Um, there's still kind of the dis door display-esque or whatever thing going at the top, but that is kind of the only way that I saw it fit. At least both shelves have some sort of display on them, so I'm a lot happier about that. The only thing that kind of bugs me is that that. There's this cord right here. You guys can see it from the CD player and it's not a big deal Like I'll survive for now. This is what my setup looks like. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how I could have reorganized it better Also again, thank you so 
much to Ash Nord for sending me the CD player. I will go ahead and link down in the description where you can get it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and peace out.